Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Nino Kuni Let's Play video. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I am in a exceptionally good mood today, uh, for a few reasons. Uh, one, because I'm playing a video game. Two, because I'm making a video, and I love making videos. And three, uh, because I've just, I think, uh, worked out what I need to do. In the last video, I was completely stuck. And so instead of trying to work out what to do, um, I went to a casino and played a load of games. So <laughs> I do not recommend you doing um, uh, problem solving in real life, my method. Uh, but yeah, what I realised was, um, yeah, if you don't know what's going on, I'm basically trying to, to get onto a boat. Uh, because my map said that there's another stone for Mornstar, um, which is on the boat. And if that means nothing to you, uh, then yeah, you probably need to watch some some past episodes to, uh, to catch up with the story. Uh, but yeah, basically I needed to get... Uh, onto a boat and I kept trying to land on it with the dragon I was trying to land nearby to it and then um like I don't know like try and just stand near it and try and wave the uh, the boat down to get its attention and I was having zero luck whatsoever and then it suddenly occurred to me why am I trying to get onto the boat with a dragon when I could try and get onto the boat with a boat I have my own boat. This is the uh, this is the sea cow, <laughs> which is uh, was given to me by uh, her meow justy uh, a very long time ago now. And yeah, I can try using this and uh, go and try and land. Uh, well, not land on it, but try and uh, go next to the other boat and maybe jump aboard. I think that's it there. It's um, it's a lot bigger than my boat. I mean, my boat does look bigger when you're on it uh, compared to when you see it like this. Uh, but look at their boat. Their boat. It's definitely a bit bigger than ours, and it looks a bit scarier, and I think there's cannons on the side, so uh, chances are uh, there's going to be some not-too-friendly people on board. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'm going to get on board, and they're going to throw us a party and give us a cake. We can always hope. We can always hope. Okay, well, I'm getting right by it, but nothing's happening. Oh, maybe this isn't what I'm supposed to do. Oh, yes, it is. Like, I just smacked right into the side of it. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Uh, it's a, g a, g a, g a, g a, g a ghost ship. Don't be silly, Swain. I'm sure there's a much simpler explanation. The girl is correct. It is no ghost ship. So, so what the heck is it then? It's a ghost galleon. <laughs> a a g a g a ghost galleon? Look closely. There are many cannons protruding from the sides, are there not? It's one of the legendary and most fearsome worship warships constructed for the conflicts of the ancients, or the ghosts of one at least. So it's even worse than a ghost ship. <laughs> that it be, shipmates, worse than the worstest nightmare you've ever had. <laughs> um, whose voice is that? Those who come alongside the black porpsy un. There, unbidden and their voyage uh, at the bottom of Davy Jones's locker. Tis the law of the seas. Davy, you? I'm Drippy Man. You're thinking of someone else. B I R, that's terrible rude of me. Forgive me, shipmates. Arr, what I be saying? Jet Sam, on deck with ye. Run these scurvy dogs through. Ye know do well, nor to make them ye. Excuse me? <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's, oh, oh, it's, uh, it's um. It's a robot. It's not a ghost. Jet Sam. Ne'er do well. What, what was that? It's like a, a robot ghost guy. Why not? Why not? I like this guy. I don't want him to be bad. I want this guy to be friendly. I want him to join me. Maybe I should send out Tinny. They might be brothers. <laughs> right, let's send out Fruity. Let's see how well he does. He's all geared up uh, to do fire moves at the moment. So hopefully uh, they do okay against a robot. They don't do anything special. Uh, they seem to... um. Uh, just be doing pretty normal damage. Oh, this guy doesn't seem too strong. I thought this guy was going to be like a, a big boss, but I guess he's uh, much more of a normal fami uh, familiar. And I got a uh, good block in there. I think I'll be able to take up this guy relatively quickly. Look on his uh, back. You see he's got like the uh, the big barrel with like a few swords in. It's like that game. What was that game called? Pop-Up Pirate. That was it. Got to play Pop-Up Pirate. Do you remember that game? Do you still play that? I played that when I was young. I used to love that game. It's like a pirate in a barrel and you've got to like poke swords in and if you uh, hit him he goes pop up and he flies out of the barrel. It looks like he's got one of those games on his back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that isn't what it is. And I, I don't think I've put the um I don't think I've put the stones in my wand actually. Just having a look at my wand there. I don't think the other uh, stones are in it. 
What was that thing? No, uh, do well, Nautimatum? No good pile of nuts and bolts, more like it. Ain't it, though? Proper hunk of junk it was. Funny looking, too. Yar, you're not lily livid, Lola Babbers. <laughs> I'll give you that. But the nightmare ain't over yet. Why, it's barely begun. <laughs> it's that voice from before. What? Who? Who is that? Sh sh show yourself. <laughs> What's the matter, girl? Did the gulls take your eyes? I be right here. Yar. Huh? Ah, <laughs> he is right there. Ah, it's him. <laughs> you gave Jetsam a sound sculpering, ye backbone. I'll lay to that. But not a bit as much backbone as me and Miss Scurvy crew here. We're bone from kill to subsail, ain't we, boys? <laughs> Why, Cap'n, we're the wittiest skipper you've ever, that's ever set sails in the seven seas. <laughs> I'll make no bones about it, Cap'n. You're a regular laugh riot. <laughs> Crikey! It wasn't even that flipping funny! Well, what are you people anyway? You're not really skeletons, are you? Well, now, shipmate, I be the dreaded Cap'n Crossbones. Skippers and master of here tub we calls Black Porpsy. And scourge <laughs> of every inch of the ocean from here to eternity. Oh, Cap'n, you're a fine way with words. Tis poetry, Cap'n, pure poetry! Now, state your purpose. What business have ye with, ma'am, cutthroat crew? Uh, we're looking for the three magic stones, and the map brought us here. <laughs> here to rob us of our treasures, are ye? By thunder! And not just any treasure, but the very jewel given to us by the wizard king himself? Oh, your plucky ones, I'll give ye that! Huh? So, he... He's got the flipping thing, has he? It would have to be him, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Flipping typical, this is. We sea dogs value our treasure more than our very lives themselves. Why, we'd die for at least the littlest trinket amongst them. If we weren't already dead, of course. <laughs> <laughs> another cup and another just fit to slay a man. Oh <laughs> yeah, I've died all over again. Um, call me silly, but I'm starting to to like those skeletons. This swollen-headed fool is the legendary Cap and Pa. The stone is the greatest treasure in all our holds. Follow plunder. Ye have to prize it from me cold dead hands, ye scurvy dogs. But, but we need it. Whatever it takes, we have to have it. Ha 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 ha! Whatever it takes, you say? Very well, lad. If you want it, you best come and get it. Them's the rules of the sea! Come and Cap'n Crossbones. Well, I certainly got his voice wrong, didn't I? <laughs> I wouldn't mind if he spoke before I did his old silly piratey voice. Right, Cap'n Crossbones. I'm totally not ready for this fight, but you know what? Bring it on. Yeah, I think that I forgot, and I think I've done this before as well, to um to equip the uh, the stones. Like, you know I'm, I'm trying to get the stones for Mornstar, my wand, which makes it stronger. I believe you actually need to, need to uh, equip them. Uh, I don't think you just get them automatically. So, uh, yeah, I think that if I equip my stones... Uh, then all of uh, Ollie Boy's magic's going to be better. And oh no no, oh, don't come in old Drippy. The dirty tree keeps pinching your HP Ollie Boy. Make sure you whack him sharpish if he looks like he's trying to get it again. It's the only way you'll stop him. Is that, oh I need to get that gold orb. Other way old Drippy. Oh Nana's got it. Nana's got it. You better do something good with it Nana's. You better not let me down. Because I'm always going to give that to Ollie Boy. Primal Roar. Let's see how well this does. Uh, not very good. Not very good at all. What a waste. Nana's stole that from me, he did. I'm doing quite well, though. Look how look how much health he's got. I've actually uh, done quite a lot of damage already, but uh, apparently he keeps stealing my health. But have you noticed that he seems to be a little bit wearing a pink dress under his clothes? Look, can you kind of see that? What What is that? Is he wearing a pink dress under his clothes? <laughs> anyway, uh, Drippy needs to recharge, so I'm going to send out a uh, little wink. Oh, I didn't have time to evade. Please don't hurt me. Oh, and he went straight for me. He didn't do too much damage, though. Uh, let me try using Snowblower. I never use Little Wink. I feel like I should use him a little bit more than I do. Is this going to do much against him? I did quite a lot, actually. It didn't do too bad. I'm going to use Healing Rain as well, because I think that gets all of our health up. And so that's going to be definitely worth doing. It feels quite nice battling with Little Wink for a change. I've uh, certainly not done it in quite a while. Uh, I might go and use Snowblower again. Right, I'm going to try and evade this time. The problem with ev evading... 
um, unlike um, uh, defending, is that it only lasts for a very small amount of time. It's good because if it works, you take no damage whatsoever. Um, but yeah, if, like it only lasts for a little bit of time. Uh, so you've got to be really exact for when you do it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to switch to Ollie and have some provisions. I think I uh, still got quite a lot of stuff spare. So I'm going to have a, a quick sandwich, uh, send out fruity, and then that should be the job done. Look how, look how much health he's got already. I'm assuming that this isn't going to be it. I'm assuming that coming up later I'm going to have to, to fight his crew or once I take him out now he's going to become stronger. Maybe he's going to take his clothes off and show us all a glimpse of his dress. I don't know, but I've got an assumption... Uh, that that he's uh, gonna try and do something a bit stronger just because just because of how easy this battle has been like I battled the um that wolf guy uh, two episodes ago and I, I thought that was quite easy but this has been really easy he's hardly done anything against me and now I'm about to get a few more good hits on him now oh, he did a, a hammock hack uh, right on me though it only did eight damage but it put me to sleep so that's not very useful but you wake me up with the next hit anyway right was it like one two three more hits and he's gonna be dead there we go easy peasy Take that, skeleton. He talked the talk, but he didn't walk the walk. <laughs> right, is it, is it going to give me the the next stone, or is it going? Or am I going to be right? I'm kind of hoping I'm not right. I'm kind of hoping that was it, and I'm going to get the star and uh, the uh, stone, and then I'm going to have the uh, the fully powerful Morn Star. Uh, but I do have a uh, sneaking suspicion that there's going to be something else. Oh, I knocked this his head off. Talks. That's it. I got the stone. That was really easy. I kind of wanted a, a little bit more of a challenge. I got the uh, the sunstone. That's it then. I have a fully powered Mornstar. Oh no, Cap'n. Don't die on us, Cap'n. Arr. What do you mean, lads? I be dead already. Cap'n? This is all you're doing, you meddling skellywags. Bah, you call us thieves. You attack us. Then you have to the ghoul to accuse us of meddling. Worms. Wait, I don't think they're bad people. People? Ah, oh, it's been a while since we've been called that, lad. An age, in fact. Oh, it has. Remember the golden olden days? The slip of the sloop we started out pirating on them years back, eh? Oh, talk amongst yourselves, why don't you? Oh, remember the cap in them days? What a terror. Drove us like slaves, he did. Till he was honoured by the wizard king himself. A feared of nothing we were, twas a golden age of men and fortune. From horizon to horizon, the sea war is our big blue oyster. We'd have sailed the black porpoise to world's end and beyond. Ah, but it wasn't destined to live forever. Time caught up with us, sure as the tide. Aye, that it did, and then we was naught but salt-soaked souls, be claimed on the seas of the afterlife. Until the captain came back to us, that is, just as we always knew he would. And we took our... <laughs> we took to the waves once more. Ah, never a happy day did I see. Never indeed. What more could a cutthroat crew have wished for in death? Hey, we've been lucky indeed. Truly no regrets. Not one. Not even one. No, oh, not even ye born with the face of the weak old. Ha ha ha, Cap'n, you have outdone yourself. I've wet me pirate pants, ha 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 ha! so ye have it, stone thieves. We've. <laughs> Why is that so quick? Um, okay. Anchors, away! Arr. Bye, ghosts. Bye, silly, friendly ghosts. Well, kind of friendly. Well, they seemed happy. Yeah, seems like it worked out all right for them in the end, didn't it, eh? I can think of worse ways to go. I suppose you're right. Do you really think they've gone for good, though? Somehow, they didn't seem like the types to hang up their cutlass and settle down in a nice, peaceful afterlife. Sorry I didn't get to uh, to read what the uh, the dead pirate was saying, but the text came up really quick and just disappeared, so I didn't have quite have time. We've done it, though. Three out of three, all the stones for Mornstar. This place has undergone some changes. Its halcyon days seem far behind it. Halcyon. All that is left of that kingdom and its people is the empty citadel you see before you. 
You have regrets. Destruction was the destiny those fools deserved. The choice you made was correct. Well, well. I never thought I would hear you say that. Now, Counselor, to what do I owe this pleasure? I came to inquire about your intentions. My intentions? Your intentions for this world. A world I believe you would protect. Am I not correct, Doubt you? It is only a matter of time before the forbidden spell is used again. Does the thought not seem disagreeable to you? We all share the same views of this world's pitiful denizens. Their lives are no longer of the slightest value. I see. And you are quite sure of this? My deeds shall demonstrate that I mean what I say. Watch as the frail hopes of the people of this world are torn from them and turned to the blackest despair. So you would have to share your fate. Very well. Counselor, just what are your intentions? <laughs> this should be interesting. This is interesting. By the skies, you're swift boy, I'll give you that. It seems you'll have yourself a full set of magic stones already. We couldn't have done it without Tengri. There's nowhere he can't fly. <laughs> he's done me proud. He may be a mere fledgling, but he's well, he is all the makings of a legendary dragon. Now, you know what needs doing next, I take it. Those magic stones need to be reunited with that wand of yours. So, we just need to put these stones back in the holes, and in, then the wand will be complete, huh? Okay, here it goes. Arr! Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. They'll never fit. Flipping it! What's all this about? They're the wrong blooming size, ain't it, though? Are you blind or something? Um, I guess I didn't think to check. I mean, we were so busy looking for them. You're not seriously telling me that we've ended up with a bunch of worthless counterfeits, are you? No, they're real. Of that I can, there can be no doubt. And the keepers of the stones you crossed swords with were real enough, were they not? Then why don't they fit in the wand? Tis Mornstar that has changed size. Not like, like, like as not it's shifted shape to fit the hand of its new owner. But there's bound to be a way to get those stones to follow suit, and I'll warrant a wise soul has scribbled it down somewhere. I have a nose for plunder, and I'd say you have best sniff around the selfsame place where you first heard of Mornstar, and first came by the map. Hamelin, of course, you're right, Kabali. So it's back to Hamelin again, is it? This seems to be becoming a habit. Come on then, Oliver. Okay, let's go and see how Marcus Anne's doing. Right, so I got all the stones, but they don't fit in the wand because the wand shrunk. <laughs> I left it in the uh, the wash with my uh, with my cape, you see, and it made it shrink, which is no good. <laughs> oh, dude, that was quite good though. So I've got all three stones then. So I thought I had to um, I thought I had to equip them and put them in. I'm, I'm sure I've done that before. I'm sure I I tried to to put the uh, the stones inside of um inside of the wand. Maybe I didn't then. Oh, here we go. Is this it? Um, can I put it in anything? Spirit of the Glade? Are these even the stones? I've no idea. Oh, yeah, here we go. Can I not do anything with it? They're, they're, they're two of the other uh, stones there, and I guess I can't do anything. What I think I can do, though, is I think I might be able to get Drippy to Metamorph. What do you reckon? Do you reckon now's a good time to do it? I, I want to do it. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of curious to see uh, what he'll end up looking like, and I think I need to go to... Is it the creature cage I need to go to? Then I need to give him the uh, the right stone. Uh, right, I'm just going to go through all of them and see if he takes any of them. There we go. The Jumbo Sundrop. And uh, what will he learn? Um, oh, well, I, I can choose. I can choose if he's going to become the Dynamite or the Mermite. What do you reckon? So I can either go, I reckon that's going to be fire or water. Well, what do you reckon? Well, um, Little Wink already does all water stuff. So if I go fire, I think that might be better. And I think he looks cooler. He kind of looks a bit like Dracula, the uh, the water one. All right, let's do it. Let's metamorph him. I think this is the uh, the final metamorph room. I think this is this is his his final stage. 
He doesn't sound like he's enjoying it. Oh, look at him. Ah, oh, he's got a little robe. Fruity metamorphed into a dynamite. Awesome. Can I metamorph anyone else? Uh, there's got to be... Oh, I can, I can metamorph loads of them. I can pretty much metamorph any, like everyone. Right, I shouldn't do them all at the same time uh, because then they go down a level. I might metamorph Trunky and uh, let's just once again go through and see what I can give him. There we go. I can metamorph him to a uh, psychophant. <laughs> psychophant. I think it's all just going to be puns with elephant. There we go. <laughs> Put that down your trunk. And let's see a metamorph. Oh, look at his little arms waving up and down. You're not going to be able to fly. You do know that. I just made him pink. <laughs> well, he seems to like it anyway. Uh, I'm going to leave Ponto for now, but uh, let's metamorph Nanas. I don't think I've ever metamorphed Nanas before. I think I did once. I think I did once very early on, but it was so long ago. I can't really remember. Can he have any of them? There we go. Uh, a jumbo star drop. And I can once again choose. Uh, I can either let him learn mighty light moves or Thunderbolt moves. Like, that one like, makes him look like a girl, and that one makes him look a bit funky. What do you reckon? Um, I think I'll go for... I'm, tr I'm trying to look at the, the levels that they can use stuff. This one does seem to be the more developed one. I think I'm going to go for this one. I think I'm going to turn my nanas into a female nanas. Why not? Why not? And let's uh, see what he slash she will end up looking like. Oh, <laughs> once again, he doesn't seem to be enjoying it. Ah, she's adorable. She's got a little bow. <laughs> he has changed quite a lot from the start. Let's give him some chocolate bonbons as well. Why not? There's a little treat. Sorry, C, sorry. Oh, she's got a little, like a little daisy, like on the end of her tail as well. Right, there we go. So hopefully Nanas is going to be a bit more useful now. And uh, I'll try and metamorph the other ones a little bit later. The only problem is they go all the way down to level one. Uh, which makes them uh, a little bit weaker for a while, so uh, it's best not to metamorph all of them at the same time. Any though, uh, anyway though, sorry, uh, we've just about run out of time in this video, and um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, it's getting very exciting at the moment because uh, we're just about to um, uh, put all of the uh, stones in Mornstar, and once we have that, uh, we should finally uh, be able to face the uh, the Dark Jin, the uh, evil Shadar, uh, who's the uh, the uh, tangly person you saw in the cutscene a second ago. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm certainly looking forward to that. Hopefully you're as well. And so, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!